Hi everyone, I am Gayatri. Today I am going to explain Tableau. Tableau is a software which is used to create visualization for better data analysis. As I said, Tableau is a software that is used to analyze data. Here we create charts, graphs and dashboards and we'll share these dashboards in a, within the organization. There are five components of Tableau. First is Tableau Desktop. In Tableau Desktop, we create various charts, dashboards and we'll get insights from it. And second is Tableau Server. We'll do the same, but here the extra functionality is here we can share our visualization within an organization. And the third is Tableau Online. It is same as Tableau Server, but the thing is here we'll, we'll store and create charts on cloud and Tableau Reader. Here we'll get charts from Tableau Desktop. We can only view those charts. We cannot edit those charts. And Tableau Public. Pa Tableau Public is a free platform which is used to create, share the dashboards online. And there are some data types in Tableau. Here, as we see, here we have ABC icon. It is called text data. Now, second is calendar symbol. It is called date data type and here the symbol is date with clock. It is date and time data type. If we have hash, it is called numerical data type. If we have true slash false, it is Boolean data type. If we have globe symbol, it is called geographical data type. If we have image symbol, then it is image data type. If we have paperclip symbol, it is called cluster data type. Cluster data type is nothing but will group similar items in a single format that is clustering. Now we'll we'll get to know how the interface looks like. Whenever we open a Tableau interface, the first the first thing we'll see is this page. Here we have connect pane, and under this we have some types of file which we can import. Like here we can import Excel file text file, JSON file, Microsoft access file, PDF file and so on. And we can connect to different servers to publish our charts. Now I have my data in Excel. So I'm clicking Microsoft Excel and in downloads practice data. Okay. Whenever we load the data, it navigates to next page. This is some interface. The Imported data will be shown in connections and the tables or worksheets will be shown in sheets. If you have more than three sheets, it will display here. And this is called meta preview. This is called preview. Meta preview is nothing but it shows a uh, data type and where it, where it stores the data, everything. And preview, preview data is nothing but our original contents like my loaded table contains date, time, state, group, unit and sales. Here you can see data types also like date is date data type, time is string data type and state is geographical data type, group is text data type and unit is numerical data type and as well as sales is numerical data type. Here you can see uh, we, we, in which sheet we are in and it shows how many fields and how many rows we have in this table. And here this is called, uh, suppose I want to see only five rows, just give five and click enter. You, will, you can only see five rows. And here we have settings option. Here we can sort the data and we can hide the fields. Now to create a charts, we have to navigate to sheet one. Just click on sheet one. Then this sheet one will be opened. This is called like from here to here, this is called dimensions and this part is called measures. And these are cards. Pages are used for creating animations and filters are used for filtering the data. And we have marks card, which is uh, used to add labels and customize tooltip, adding colors and size. And above we have a ribbon like files in files we can open a new file or we can open existing file or if we have 
file in Tableau public, we can get that file also. And in data, you can add, you can get data from different files, worksheet. These are nothing but you can add new worksheet. And here, if we, here we have something called like show title. Here it is checked. So that here we can see, we are seeing sheet one. In dashboard, we can create new dashboard also. And these are some symbols. Like this is to get data, new data, get data from new data source. And this symbol is for uh, to get, to create a new worksheet. And this is for to create duplicate sheet. And it is to clear a sheet. Now I want to visualize state wise sales. Now drag state to columns and sales to rows. Automatically it generates a graph bar chart. In show me it enables some charts. You can change as you needed. Like I need only column chart so I took this. If you want to transpose the data like rows in column, columns in rows, we have this option swap rows and columns. Click that. To arrange the data in ascending or descending order, we have this sorting options. Suppose if I click this, it sorts the data in ascending order. If I click this, it sorts the data in descending order. And for viewing, we have this. Like if we, if we select, uh, if we select fit width, it enlarges towards horizontal. If we select fit height, it enlarges towards vertical. If we select entire view, the chart is displayed in entire view and we have presentation mode also. Now I want to add labels to this chart. How can I do that? Just drag sales to label. Now you can see the labels. And if you hover here, you can see state and sales. Now I want to display date also. So drag date to tooltip. Whenever you hover on a chart, it is showing details of state and sales. Now I want to uh, see unit value also. So drag unit to tooltip. See now you can see unit values also. In bottom we have this plus like this is for creating new sheet and this is for creating new dashboard. And this is for creating new story. I believe you understand what is Tableau and interface of Tableau. Let's meet in next session. Until then, keep upskilling.